Somewhere between the office and the outdoor studio where Art Life was assembled is the small object room for laying out, designing, and uh, showcasing smaller objects, assemblages, collages, and other things that have occurred over the years in between issues of Art Life. Uh, the white shelves you see on the walls with all of the apothecary bottles on them is a work in progress and it is actually a lifetime chronology starting with uh, my hometown of New Britain, Connecticut with each shelf being one decade in my life. So I'm uh, in the sixth decade now, halfway through that one and hopefully I'll have a couple more decades to go but uh, in each of the apothecary jars are objects uh, documenting uh, my childhood, growth, education, art life, travels, adventures, misadventures, and other things along the way. On the top of the shelves you'll see some white oblong carvings. Those are the original carved squid bones from uh, Mykonos, Greece which I did in 2008. And unbeknownst to me, these small carvings uh, done at the time later became models for six-foot carvings, which I'm in the process of doing now. Since the small squid bones are exactly the same shape as surfboards, it occurred to me months later after returning to California that uh, it would be feasible to carve the same designs into six, eight, or ten foot boards and have them as separate objects. So all these small original carvings then became models for the six and eight foot boards, which are now in progress and in a series as well. Uh, to the left, you'll see a glass heart, which contains a yellowish liquid. Uh, the liquid is olive oil. The piece is called Exorcism from Heartache. And in the glass heart with the olive oil are half a dozen different implements of pain, including barbed wire, razor wire, thorns, uh, chili peppers, etc., etc. The whole concept behind this piece was to remove all of the pain from the body and the psyche and to isolate it into an outside container. And uh, the piece was extremely successful. It has become probably one of the most photogenic pieces and has quite a long uh, history. To the left of that is another chronology which uh, spans maybe the first uh, 15 years of art life. It's in a long case with each uh, section of the case of which there are six representing a, a different uh, city in California and a different period of growth with the uh, evolution of uh, the first years of art life happening along the way. The interesting thing to me about the piece is that before I started Art Life, I had no gray hair at all. And now uh, it's quite the opposite. So this is a chronology of 15 years as compared to the apothecary bottles, which cover 65 years. Above this piece is a photograph taken in the studio for the 25th anniversary of Art Life. Uh, where I'm standing uh, humbly behind a table full of the uh, final 25th anniversary issues. Uh, in another room outside the shot is another table equally full with the same issues. I believe all of the two-pound ceramic tiles were being set at that time and the adhesive had to dry overnight. Thus everything needed to be laid out, laid out perfectly so the adhesive would be permanently uh, attached to the tiles and the hard bound covers. Then as we move along uh, the same wall, uh, you see a red neon circle. Inside that circle is a mandala made of orchid leaves 
on which the original art life formula is stenciled. The formula reads, A is to L as L is to A, A equals L, L equals A. Art is to life as life is to art, art equals life, life equals art. This was a formula that I uh, devised uh, 30 years ago, and it was in the first uh, letter in the first issue of Art Life in January of 1981, which was a letter of intent that laid out uh, what would happen for the next 25 years. So uh, the point being that art and life are one and the same and equal at every turn. Moving right along to the left of the formula, you'll see a photograph of myself holding the Art Life flag. And this flag has been around the world several times, carried by artists to several different continents and dozens of different countries, all of which uh, were photographed and then returned and appearing in different issues of Art Life. At some point, all of these photographs will be uh, a chapter in a book about the, uh, the 25 years of art life. This one in particular is important to me because this destination was the first place I went upon completion of 25 years of art life. And it is on the pinnacle of the sacred mountain on the island of Delos in the Greek islands, which was the birthplace of Apollo and his twin sister Artemis. Apollo was the god of the sun Artemis was the goddess of the moon. Consequently, this location in the Mediterranean has the brightest scientifically measured sunlight in the world. So being at the top of this uh, sacred mountain at this moment upon my retirement was uh, very triumphant for me. Having uh, gone back to this location after 40 years and then uh, having completed 25 years of art life in the interim uh, was a very important moment for me. The next important piece along the way is one that is part of my personal collection, which is a hot air balloon uh, simulated using a paper lantern of the earth as the balloon and a strawberry basket as the basket for the hot air balloon. In the uh, basket of the balloon is the artist tossing his ideas out into the universe. So it's very representational and also very meaningful in terms of what I do personally and what all artists do in tossing their creativity out into the universe and uh, hopefully finding other people to receive that communication and respond to it. 